Good morning everybody, James Blackall's JB Commercial Finance, finding finance for businesses where others can't, on Monday the 9th of November 2020. And what I want to do over this video, plus the next one, and maybe the one after, depending on how many I have, is to go through the business bounce back loan and to answer the most commonly asked questions that I get asked. There have been an awful lot over the last few months I've been asked since the product launched on May the 4th this year. I just want to go through a few of those and give my answers, my summaries, and hopefully they'll be of help to some of you. So first of all, um, will the government pay out on the guarantees to the lenders? So this comes from the fact that the government offered a guarantee of 100% to lenders for the bounce back loan. A lot of people took this as feeling the guarantee was for them as the clients, it's not, it's to the lenders. Will the government pay out on these? My feeling is that the government will kick back and not pay out on as many of these as possible. That most sounds slightly cynical, but it comes from someone who's had a lot of experience in dealing with government guarantees with various loan schemes in the past for businesses and have always been a problem. The liability we know on the bounce back loan is around about £35 billion and the government are going to be desperately short of cash over the upcoming years due to the money that's been spent keeping businesses and individuals alive during COVID-19. So I think they'll be pushing back as much as possible. And I can see several legal battles between banks and all lenders and the government on that. Second question, what happens if I don't pay the bounce back loan back? Crikey. Well, a lot of people have taken out bounce back loans um, because it's the only option they've had. been some desperation involved, to be perfectly honest. And certainly for limited companies um, where no guarantee has been taken from the director, usually this would mean that the guarantor doesn't have to pay up. because Well, there is no guarantor. The director doesn't have to pay up. Um, but just because there's no personal liability to the individual director doesn't mean there's not personal responsibility. So if your business fails, if your business goes under, gets liquidated, then that will still show as a mark on your credit history, still show as a mark when looking to apply credit in any other business in the future. Also, if you have applied for one of the bounce back loans on a fraudulent basis or given um, information which isn't accurate, then the fact that they were personally liable for the loan is irrelevant. You have committed some kind of mortgage fraud. So are you liable for it? Yes. Even if you are a limited company director, you are liable for the debt. So make sure you pay it back, as I keep saying. And the third and final one I want to go through on this particular occasion is, will the scheme be extended again? Well, the scheme was originally for a six-month period, from May the 4th. It's been extended um, to the end of November and then extended until the end of the year. Um, so will it be extended again? My feeling is one of two things will happen. The scheme will be extended again, probably till the end of March, or there will be some kind of quasi scheme the government introduced, which takes away some of the um, onus that's on them and puts some more due diligence in place, and they'll be replaced by a kind of maybe kind of a scheme similar to the old enterprise finance guarantee scheme, which was in place previously. Don't know exactly. I think there will be some form of government support scheme to lenders to give them the reassurance. <laughs> even though, as I said, the government won't pay out a lot of the guarantees. But on paper, it will give them reassurance to lend the money and it will allow some easy liquidity to small businesses. Will it be the same as this scheme? I doubt it. I think there will be a change, um, but certainly there will be an extension of the scheme at some point. So they're free. I've got quite a few to go through. So I'll probably go into two, maybe three videos. Hopefully that's useful to some people. Any questions, please drop them below and share this to anyone who thinks it might be useful. And thanks a lot, guys. Take care. Bye.